What up, fam? Welcome back. Got another clip for you. Uh, I appreciate the feedback on Alan's audio message. I've been talking with Man of Stone, and he had something to contribute, so he left a message for me on Telegram, and he also made a graph for us to go over. So without further ado, let me know what you think about this one. And I quote, here's the breakdown. Just take the value and apply it to real time. In this scenario, every second, the Earth is going upward faster and then faster the very next second and then the next, and so on. This is what we call a non-inertial frame of reference. We call it that because objects within it are constantly showing a change in their inertia. They, ironically, are accelerating. The term inertial frame usually implies constant inertia, no acceleration, which is a function of an object's momentum. No change in velocity, no change in inertia, inertial frame. Pretend we start the analysis at the beginning of time, when the Earth is supposedly going zero meters per second. We start at stationary, the whole thing's a thought experiment, so roll with it and think it through. After the Earth spends so many seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, constantly accelerating, with no cessation in the acceleration itself, just like we experience on the surface here, 24-7, 365, with zero interruption, after just less than a single year, the Earth's speed would exceed the speed of light, two years, twice the speed of light, and so on, faster than C in one year. Forget that we've got on record that Earth has existed in a straight, linear timeline for centuries. The whole concept is absurd. All right, more chips on the table. Let's see where this goes. Uh, leave some comments if you want, and if you want to find Stone's work, go to BitChute, search Man of Stone, one word, under Channels, and you'll find it. There's a lot of great videos there. I look forward to continuing to seek out the truth in all things. Uh, take care.